Beck. My name is Imogen. My name is Jade and I did the Lara Pinta Trek. So a typical day doing the Lara Pinta Trail um, is pretty exciting. So you're really remote, you're going to be camping, there's not going to be anyone else around apart from you and your team. And it can range from being, uh, you know, hiking up to the top of a mountain and just trekking alongside that and seeing the McDonald ranges to trekking through the Red Desert. Come back, enjoy dinner with the team around the campfire and have an early night under the stars and the swag is pretty much a standard day on the trail. This trek is a three out of five for the difficulty grade. Every day is different, so some days will be a little bit flatter than others. You've got the Mount Sonder climb, which is um, a big eight kilometer uphill hike, which you'll do um, in time for sunrise. So you'll go up in the dark, um, which is the most challenging day of the adventure. And the heat, sometimes does, <laughs> does prove to be the most difficult, but it's well worth the experience. It's very rocky. It can be quite unstable as well. So sort of sandy, rocky. Uh, some, of the, some of the days we'll go through um, dry riverbeds and things like that. So that's the more sandy part, which can be really exhausting walking over sand. Um, generally, it's more pebbly, I guess, than that, and sometimes some large rocks to scramble over. And it's not for the faint-hearted. Sometimes you are walking across some pretty high ledges. So getting out into the bush would be the best form of training for this adventure. I would recommend training um, up to six hours a day over consecutive days, maybe doing a few stairs for those hill climbs, especially on Mount Sonda, the Mount Sonda day where you do wake up at 2 a.m. and climb eight kilometers for three hours. Definitely getting outdoors is really, really important and working on your muscle strength to get uphill. In terms of equipment for the Lara Pinta, I would definitely recommend hiking boots. There are some loose rocks. Um, and some ankle support does go a long way. It also helps with the blisters because you are trekking over multiple kilometers. A lot of my team found that trekking poles were very helpful for those inclines. You could take trekking poles as well. Not everyone uses them, um, but they can help people that maybe don't have the best balance. If you're going to take trekking poles, definitely train with them. Reaching Mount Sonda. Summiting Mount Sonda. Definitely Mount Sonda and seeing that sunrise. And it's, yeah, it's pitch black, so you're kind of having to walk one foot in front of the other, really keeping a close eye on uh, your feet and what you're doing. Um, and it takes sort of three hours to get to the top, so it's quite a long hike up. Um, but when you get there, seeing the sunrise over the outback, the views you get, it's absolutely incredible. So on the first day of our Lara Pinta Trail, when we're still in Alice Springs, we actually walked down to the Botanical Gardens, just down the road from our hotel, and uh, we met a lovely local Indigenous elder from the community, and she, she sort of conducted a, a welcome to country meeting with us, where she talks about the history and the Indigenous history of the area, um, as well as the changes in recent times and how that affects them. And that was a really special encounter for us to be able to talk to her about how, how that affects them today and how it did back then and the differences in the culture. Um, and she was you know, really lovely and made us feel really welcome in the area. This team was full of inspiring people. Um, the Chris O'Brien Life House is a, hospital, a holistic hospital um, in Sydney, so um, it treats cancer. And there were members of the team who had experienced cancer themselves and been through that journey and been treated at Chris O'Brien Life House and wanted to give back. There was also a participant who had very sadly lost his partner at quite a young age um, and he was he raised over twenty thousand dollars for Chris O'Brien. I really learnt that a group of people, whether they knew each other before or didn't, can come together and just you know bond really really quickly and learn about each other really quickly and have such an open open mind and open heart um, to continue this sort of journey with each other. Um, also something like this, an adventure like this, it's a perfect opportunity for people to come together like that because everyone's out of their comfort zone and everyone's sort of open and willing to just accept one another and learn about one another and you know the campfire is a fantastic place for that to happen as well so it's just a, an adventure like this is such a good opportunity to see teams come together and really sort of leave as one team rather than a bunch of individuals that came together at the start. The Lara Pinta Trek is for anyone who's looking to get out into nature, um, get a bit out of their comfort zone. Um, it's an adventure that would suit most ages as long as you're willing to train um, 
it's a great adventure if you want to get to know your team really well because you are around the campfire each night. It's definitely achievable, it's hard work, it's a challenge and you have to train, but definitely achievable, so I would recommend it to anyone.